All right, guys. So today we'll be creating our. So today we'll be creating a PMP logo in Illustrator. On our right hand side, here, we have our layers that we use for this project. While on our left hand side, as you can see, I, I have my color code and the color that I'll be using. So the next thing I'm going to do straight straight up is to come here and just create a new file. I'm going to click on new, and I'm going to uh, put my width to uh, 1280 pixels. My height is uh, my, my height is uh, 720 pixels, and I'm going to just going to give the add to one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to uh, come here and just grab this, come and click on a uh, copy. And I'm just going to guide and paste it. Paste. So uh, this is all we'll be needing in this tutorial. We're not going to be uh, needing anything more than this. Next, I'm going to do is to click on my type 2. I'm just going to click on the center of this uh, artboard. I'm going to write P and P. Click on my selection to hold down Alt and Shift and just drag. Drag this one uh, once more. Alright, I think. Uh, this is okay. So I'm going to click here and just write SF. So the, the, the font to be using is SF Distant Galaxy. If you don't have this in your system, so you can go ahead and uh, install it before you start. As you can see, now I have my uh, text. I think this is too large. Let me let, let me reduce it. I'll hold an Alt and Shift option for Mac. Let's reduce it slightly. Now the next thing to, to do is to convert this text into an outline. That is the shape. So I will come here and just I will come to a uh, type and I click on create outline. So, so, so this has moved from just a text to a shape. As you can see, if I click on it, you, you notice that the 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 uh, the uh, option for characters has, has disappeared. The next thing I'm going to do is to uh, the, next, the next I'm going to do is to uh, cut through the shape and uh, do some adjustment. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on my uh, my direct selection to click on this P. All right. I'm going to right click, go to transform and uh, reflect. I'm going to click on preview so that I will see what's going on here. I'll make sure that uh, uh, vertical is set and it's, uh, angle 90. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. So, what it does is to transform, it's just to flip our P to the uh, left hand side. Next, I'm going to do is to click on Ctrl Y so that I'll see this on the outline mode. As you can see, this is, this is just a shape. Illustrator. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to uh, my outline mode. I'm going to uh, select this shape, click on my uh, my my eyedropper tool, and just sample this color. I'm going to do the same thing to the to the other shapes. Just click on my eyedropper tool and just sample this this color. Now the next thing to do is to click on Control Y. Now as you can see, as you can see, I put it on the outline mode. Here we just have a uh, simple simple lines. The next thing I want to do is just to uh, divide the shape into a uh, into two uh two segments so so the best way to do that is to get my uh, pen tool i'm going to click here and just stop here all right i'm going to order my uh, direct selection tool and just adjust this just make sure that 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 the thing stays at the center of this node here now in, in case you are finding it difficult to do you can only select it and just use your arrow key to to, to position it all right so after doing that, I'm going to hold down this, this shape. I'm going to select this shape rather. Hold down Alt and select this other one. I'm going to come to my Pyfinder panel and I'm going to click on uh, Divide. So what it does is to split this, this, this two shape into two, into two, uh, into half, into half. So, so I'm going to do the same thing uh, to this one too. All right, and, and, and this one. The next thing to do is to get my uh, pen tool. I'm going to click from here to this point. I'm going to drop this shape, select this one. I'm going to use my arrow key to press it and make the same thing with this one. Alright, so I'm going to order out and this one. Click on divide. Okay, so I've also split this into two equal half. Now, before we split this one, there are some there are some uh, things that needs to be done. First thing, this this is not how I want the shape to be. So, uh, what I'm going to do about that is to get my uh, is to make sure that my my direct selection tool is is selected, and I'm just going to align this two. 
these two anchor points and I'm going to use my arrow key to just take it upward so that's like it's equal with this with this other shape I think it's okay this way now the next thing I'm going to do also is uh, is also select these two bring it down with my arrow key click out now I'm going to uh, select this, this shape once more hold down my pen tool I'm going to create a node here I'm going to create a node here select my, my uh, dice version to make sure that, that node, the new node I just created is selected I'm going to click on my delete key to just delete this this line I'll click on this one I also click on my delete key so I don't have successfully deleted this these two lines you can see I have a space here I'm, I'm gonna drop this All right I think let me select it back again now I'll click on my pen to I'll select this one and then join it together with this one I'll select this one to join it together with this one all right and I'll click on my entire selection to right here now the next thing is to make sure that this line is, is very very straight that is straight straight as in the same proportion with this one to do that I would, I'm just going to select select this one with my, with my direct selection to use my arrow key and just bring it downward and watch it when it's uh, I think it's okay so I will do the same thing to this one as you can see the, the line here is not, it's not straight enough I will bring it down too the same thing I will do to this one all right so as you can see this line is straight this, the same line with this one the same thing the same thing that i did here i will also repeat it here i'll click it here and just uh, raise it up okay so now we have uh we have equal lines here i will select this one just like this and use my arrow key that is my uh left arrow key to reduce it Okay, just to create more space. I want the space to be to to I, I want this these two places to have, to have enough space. So the next thing is to uh click uh click here and click on this uh and click on this com convert selected icon point to corner. All right, and then I'm drag it. As you can see, I have this green line. This 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 is very, this is very as my smart guide. So in case yours yours is not turned on, you can just come to view and check on smart guide so uh having done that i'll go i'll go ahead and grab my pen tool select this and those uh, select this now the next thing to do is to is to make sure that this this these two are uh, anchor point is, is is resting on these two nodes right here so i'm going to select this and just use my arrow key and just position it all right the same thing i'm going to do to this this is my arrow key and just position it as well. I think she's in the center of this just So the next thing is to select this. Make sure it's selected. Get your pen to create another node here. There's an anchor point. Then get your uh dice selection to click this. Then click uh convert selection icon point to smooth. Then raise it. bring it out I'm going to drag this make sure that it's, it's, it's overlapping I'm going to reduce this it's, it's too long so, the, so what I'm going to do is to hold down shift select this and this alright and I'm going to come to the right and just speed this into it now there's an error here if, if I click out see that I have this thing uh, it's like I have two two lines here and um, and, and that's not the right thing to do so what i'm going to do is to click on ctrl z all right and then select this this line only this line then i'm going to flip these colors these two colors here and what i'm going to do now is to uh so make sure that i remove this feed by clicking here and making this one come to the foreground and i'm going to try it once i'm going to try it again hold down shift select this one and select this one select this one to come to divide okay so now we have exactly what we needed now the next thing i'm going to do is to click on uh ctrl y that's to go back to preview mode okay so as you can see now now we have our shape properly cut out 
do do uh, the way we want. So the next thing is to apply a shadow to this, and the best way to do that is to come, come here and draw my circle. Hold on, shift to have a perfect circle. So the next I'm gonna do is to uh, what I'm gonna do is to uh, come to effect blow Gaussian blow, and, and I'm gonna make sure that uh, I'm gonna set it to uh, 16 points. 16.4 click on preview to see the effect i'm going to click on ok so the next thing is to uh the next thing i'm going to do is to next i'm going to do is to select this come to copy and just copy this and i'm going to drag this then, then and i'm going to drag this and place it here i'm going to come to opacity click on make select this one and come to edit click on our uh, paste in front so did it give me a little this give me a little bit of shadow here but but as you can see like the automatically the the, the shadow is uh is 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 linked together with this uh with this part of this p but we don't want that so i'm going to come to opacity select the i'm going to select the shadow i'm going to select the max here and i'm going to unlink it so uh i'm, I'm going to unlink it and i'm going to uh select my Come to my direct selection to select this and bring it down and just rearrange it. Okay. Now I can I can see come back here. I mean I, I can see come back here. My opacity and just uh, click on invert. Come here and turn put this to seventy. Right. So I'll start I'll start just to get that. Do this to click on this one as well come to objects copy and i'm going to come back here and just uh, just draw a circle okay now this circle i'm going to come here and just click on my swatches panel i'm going to go ahead and click on my direct selection tool and I'm going to uh, drag this to this uh, to this place that's on this shape. I'm gonna come here, click on my max, click on invert, and I'm gonna select this shape. So the next thing is to come to objects, uh, edit, paste in front. All right. So then we have this black shadow here. And this has happened before, so what, what the next thing for us to do is to unlink this uh, this shape from this uh, shadow. And the best way to do that is to come here, select the shape, click on unlink. So I'm going to also set this to 70 because it seems uh, it is too thick. All right, so I'm going to select this and just adjust it so that I will have the kind of design that I need. Select this and. This one, so I'm coming here and I'm copying the shape. Click on copy, and um, we are going to repeat the same thing. We are going to draw the same circle. Let's draw the same circle. I'll just do it again. Click here, go back to effect. Click on apply effect. I'm going to order my direct selection to carry it and just drop it here. Come to opacity, click on make. In that, select this, come to uh, edit, paste in front. Now we, now we have this, come back here and uh, select the object, unlink it, and apply this to 70. So I'm going to, I'm going to rearrange the shape. Alright, so guys, so uh, 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 this is it. This is the this is how you apply shadow to your to your logo. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to come here and get my uh my rectangle to I'm just gonna drag this and I'm gonna select my eyedropper to sample this blue here and drop it a little bit now. I'll, I'll come to my text 
click on this click here and I'm just going to write collections collections alright I'm going to order my selection to order alt and shift and drag now the font that I, that I have here is a uh, uh, this um uh, SF distant galaxy so in case you're not seeing this font you can go ahead and load it on your uh, on your system okay so what i'm going to do now in case you are not seeing this shape or or in case after designing this thing and, and this shape is covering this and this shape is covering this uh this text what you can do is to click on this shape and right click and go to and go to uh, arrange and click on send to back all right so uh and this shape automatically sent to back why why this test will be at the foreground so what i'm going to do is to click on my direct selection to i'm going to select this shape i'm going to select this uh i'm going to select no i think i should choose this one selection to instead i'm going to select this i'm going to select the text and uh and, and the shape and the text altogether. So what I'm going to do now is to uh, first let him uh, both the text and the shape. I'm just going to click on minus front. All right. I think I don't make insertion properly. Where is it? Uh, okay. Select the shape. Hold and alt. And uh, select this. Go to minus front and click on minus front. Okay, now the, the, the reason I'm having this problem is, is because uh, this is still a text in Illustrator, so so the effect I'm applying can, cannot actually work. So what I'm gonna do is to uh come to uh what I'm gonna do is to come to text and click on create outline. So only then so since since this thing is shape and this this is also shape uh it will be uh, applied so what i'm going to do is to click on this and select this and i'm going to click on uh minus front so the next thing i'm going to do is to click on my selection to select this click on delete i'm going to select this click on delete now look at what i have there so so yeah i have the, the so so yeah i have the shape so, so you have the shape and the text all right so i'm going to click on my uh selection to, to this so guys uh this is basically the logo design here here we have our shadow here we also have our shadow and here we also have another shadow now what the next thing to, to do is to group this, this this shadow so what i'm going to do is to come here and let's group all of them all right now what once i light all these things i i try to move them and what you notice is that is that the the uh the uh logo and the text and the shadow have just uh, split split together now the best way to solve this problem is let me uh i'm going i'm going to i'm going to get and click on ctrl z now the best way to solve that problem is to uh is to uh click this logo come back here select your shape and link and click on your link the same way i'm going to click here come back here and click on my select this shape and click on link same thing I'm going to do to this one as well. Just select the shape, come back here and click on the uh, link. So what, what so uh what I've done is to basically link this link these two shape with the shadows with the shadows together. So if I try to select it, so I'm going to select it and I'm going to come here and click on uh object group. Right now, if I try to just uh, select the shape and just and just move it about, as you can see, I won't have that. That I won't have that error again. Or, okay, if I just move it about, the the the, the uh the both the shadow and the shape will just stay will just stay in place. So uh, what what I'm going to do is to get I'm going to get a background. I have a background already paste in front i'm gonna right click and uh arrange and i'm gonna click on send to back 
so guys uh this is the end of the tutorial if you find this tutorial very useful feel free to like and share and subscribe to this channel if you have anything you want to say comment or if you think if you have anything that you want to uh uh if you have anything you want to talk about kindly drop a comment and i will uh see you in my next video